Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is your favorite ringside physician, Dr. Jared Vasquez, and this is the Octagon Doctor channel, the number one place in the internet to get information about MMA injuries and post-fight analysis. And today we are going to talk about UFC 253 and the talk of the town. You're not going to believe this is Israel Adesanya's right chest, his right pectoral muscle, his right boob, if you will. Uh, people were seeing some changes on the internet in some pictures, and they were quickly linking it to some gossip associated to substance abuse and performance enhancing drugs but before we get to that remember to punch the like button kick the notification bell and rear naked choke that share icon because it gets my videos to more computers more cell phones and hence it makes my channel grow so without further ado let's start this UFC 253 went down yesterday in Yas Island, Abu Dhabi, and Israel Adesanya put on a masterclass against Paula Costa, but fans couldn't help themselves to observe a change that Israel Adesanya presented on his right chest and they were linking this change in the right breast that you guys are seeing in the pictures displayed here on the screen to gynecomastia and gynecomastia is a benign enlargement of the male breast usually bilateral but in israel adesanya's case it looked to be unilateral and it results from a proliferation of the glandular component of the breast as you guys are seeing here in the image it is defined clinically by the presence of a rubbery or firm mass that extend that extends concentrically from the nipples so basically we're speaking about a benign proliferation of the glandular tissue of the male breast it's caused by an increase in the ratio of estrogen and androgen activity we're going to get to why that's important in a little bit it might be unilateral in just one side of the chest or in both chest it is diagnosed on examination as a palpable mass of tissue at least a half a centimeter in diameter usually it's under the area of the nipple gynecomastia of half of a centimeter to two centimeter is so common that it might just be a normal variant of Israel Adesanya's body. When we talk about the condition, we usually talk about the signs and symptoms. Signs and symptoms would be painful breasts and even in some cases, as gross as it sounds, a discharge coming from the nipple. Now here is the nitty gritty about what people were suggesting that happened with Israel Adesanya. And to get to this, we have to link it to a word. It's aromatization and that's a side effect that everybody that utilizes performance enhancing drugs fears whether ingesting or injecting anabolic steroids a variety of processes occur in the body including aromatization and this is a process whereby the anabolic steroids convert to an estrogen like or female like hormone or compound this conversion causes a shift in the ratio of testosterone to estrogen resulting in an abundance of the female hormone estrogen so we're talking about your testosterone your denatural production of testosterone going down and a conversion to estrogen the female hormone going up Anabolic steroids may also cause a type of negative feedback mechanism in the body, which reduces the normal production of testosterone inside the testes. These imbalances can stimulate the development of female-like breast tissue. With continued use of anabolic steroids, that glandular breast tissue will slowly accumulate. Unfortunately, once the tissue forms, that breast will not return to normal. So if this is performance enhancing related, we might see that change persist there's also physical injuries that can cause this like a pectoral major tear but let's pull up the picture here it doesn't look like a pectoral uh pectoral major tear or any other physical mechanical injuries of the pectoral muscle now i scoured the internet for different pictures and to some degree israel adesanya's right chest looks like this and to a lesser degree was this a, a a weight cut issue is his body simply changing that could also be it remember these guys utilize the pectoral muscle greatly and these guys are changing their diets constantly israel adesanya is an athlete that is tested constantly by usada and he has always been clean. I mean, if he utilized performance enhancing drugs before coming into the UFC, it would make sense because that tissue, like I mentioned before, does not go away. So can I tell you guys it's not steroids? No. Can I tell you guys it's steroids? The answer is no also, but can I comfortably say it looks like gynecomastia. Yes, it looks like fatty tissue 
under the, the nipple area and that is the finest gynecomastia. That's definitely greater than half of a centimeter in diameter. So we have the diagnosis guys, it's gynecomastia. Is it current use? I cannot tell you guys. All right, guys, thank you for following the channel. I'd like to give you a huge thanks to you guys for always supporting my content. And remember to like and share and keep watching. There's a lot of videos in the channel and I think you guys will enjoy it.